This video will explain how to set the phase on VTC-1D variable speed controller. A medium sized Phillips screwdriver and small flathead screwdriver are needed to set the controller. First, loosen the four corner screws and remove the faceplate. Identify the OSB screw and use the small flathead screwdriver to gently turn it clockwise until it stops turning. The default temperature reading is in degrees Celsius. To change the reading to Fahrenheit, identify the small black plastic cap located near the OSB screw. Grasp the tip of the plastic cap and pull up, removing the plastic piece and exposing three vertical pins. Replace the plastic cap on top of the two outermost pins and push down, seating it on the pins. The digital display will now read Fahrenheit. Replace the faceplate and secure the four corner screws. Now, a series of checks will be performed to ensure the controller is working correctly. First, press and hold the toggle switch to the right. Then turn the temperature knob clockwise to the high setting. The digital display will now read 98 if set to Fahrenheit, or 37 if set to Celsius. Release the toggle switch to center position. Next, turn the idle speed knob counterclockwise to zero. The fan should turn off. Now, turn the idle speed knob clockwise to full. The fan should now be running full speed. This indicates the controller and fan system are working correctly. Next, let's set the controller. Press the toggle switch to the right and hold. Then turn the temperature knob until the digital display reads the desired set temperature. Most calf barns have the temperature set between 40 and 50 Fahrenheit, or between 4 to 10 Celsius. Release the toggle switch to center position. The digital display should now show the ambient air temperature. When the temperature in the barn is above the set temperature, the fan will run at full speed. When the temperature in the barn is below the set temperature, the fan will run at the speed indicated by the idle speed knob. Turn the idle speed knob to the desired setting. Idle speeds are most commonly set between 2 and 3. Do not set the idle speed below 2, as the fan may not draw enough fresh air over the motor to properly cool it, reducing its lifespan. Now the phase-on variable speed controller is set. In the event of a power outage, the controller will need to be reset and error messages cleared. Multiple error messages may appear on the digital display. The display can be reset by rapidly wiggling the toggle switch to the left and right twice. This will remove the error message and replace the digital display readout with the ambient air temperature. Once the display has been reset, push and hold the toggle switch to the right to confirm the set temperature is correct. Also, visually verify that the idle speed knob is at the correct setting. Setting the phase-on variable speed controller is now complete. Congratulations! For more information, 
Contact us at Crystal Creek. Call 888-376-6777.